you know, it's one of those things where you're supposed to wait to tell people and you're supposed to sort of yeah. um, hold off on telling people. But I was so excited, you know, I just really wanted to, to scream it from the rooftops. It was Laura Sievert's first pregnancy. It was August 2012. A few weeks later, there were some indications something could be wrong, but there was still a heartbeat. It wasn't an incredibly strong heartbeat, but it was there. Even though there was trouble, the couple still had hope. At the eight-week checkup, that hope was crushed. I was devastated. Devastated. A year later, Laura was pregnant again. Things started out great. The baby had a strong heartbeat, and at 12 weeks... We decided to tell all our friends, you know, put it on Facebook the way that everyone does, right? Um, and we were just, just floored. Four days later... And we were blindsided. We did not, in a million years, didn't think anything was wrong. You pop on the ultrasound, and then there was nothing. Uh, and it's a silence you can't even... It's a silence you can't even describe. You know, you... You know it should be there. You know what should, you know, you don't need a medical degree to know what should be there. There's always shame, um, believe it or not, and guilt, unfortunately, when a woman comes in and finds out they have a miscarriage. There's a, a natural tendency for a patient to say, well, I must have done something wrong. This is my fault. Dr. Chris Jones is Laura's OBGYN at Memorial Hospital in Carthage. He says while there are many causes for miscarriage, it's almost always never the woman's fault. While it's hard to pinpoint a specific cause for a miscarriage, Dr. Jones says smoking, heavy drinking, and medical conditions like diabetes, hypothyroidism, and hypothyroidism can increase the risk. He says maternal age is the biggest risk factor of all. As for the Sieverts, they never gave up hope of becoming parents. Earlier this year, they found out they were pregnant again. I think that we didn't know if we should be excited or not. They approached this pregnancy with extreme caution. Things kept progressing well, and in September, they welcomed their son, Elliot. They lifted him up and, and you know, I, he looked at me, he looked right at me, I swear he looked right at me and I looked at him and I just couldn't believe, I couldn't believe. It was great, <laughs> it was great. It felt like everything in the world was right right there. I can say that he's got a twinkle, one in each eye for, for each of the babies that we lost. For KHQA.com, I'm Chad Douglas.